Hello and welcome to your daily news and information update. Today's topic, Japanese manufacturing. Japan may have its share of economic bumps in the road, but its government-led strategic economy continues to grow regardless of global circumstances, and it may soon surpass the United States in overall value. Japanese banks and financial centers were relatively unharmed by the market turmoil which destroyed dozens of U.S. banks and left champions like Bank of America and Citigroup begging for government assistance. Japanese companies were on a buying spree throughout 2008 as, the, as they absorbed billions of dollars worth of U.S. companies. Huge conglomerates like Mitsubishi UFJ bought into Wall Street banks at fire sale prices and the Union Bank of California was completely bought out by Japanese firms. The post-World War II rise of Japan has been described as nothing short of a miracle recovery. And now, China and the rest of the renewed Asian tigers are copying the Japanese plan. Japan's economic ministry started them on the road to greatness by focusing on cheaply produced consumer goods and manufacturing. When it became clear that they could no longer keep up with depressed wages in China, India, and elsewhere, they shifted their focus to producer goods. Instead of building the entire camcorder, they build the components, ship them overseas to a subsidiary, and assemble them with cheap labor. This is the reason Japan is one of the few countries able to maintain a surplus against China. They do not sell goods to, to the Chinese directly, they sell them components, and they assemble those components in home-operated factories using foreign workers. They focus on more than just consumable goods. Some of their advanced components include military-grade electronics and other high-technology products. Japanese corporate culture is much more focused on the success of the home country than we could ever witness in the U.S. today. American management wants to get rich quick and retire early. Japanese ownership, on the other hand, looks toward long-term growth and stability. Their industrial policy is just one way which can be used to cultivate that stability. Japanese leaders believed in manufacturing and always have. They have never been distracted by the Wall Street claims of a new economy based on stock markets and shareholding. Akio Morita, the co-founder of Sony Products, stated years ago that the nation that loses its manufacturing base will cease to be a world power. To this day, the Japanese take that sentiment to heart. On behalf of Concerned Citizens, I'm Craig Harrington. For more on this and other related topics, please tune in daily to economyandcrisis.org. Wake up, America. Open up your eyes. Wake up, America. Wake up.